Oh, this is this has just been a wild first round. And to talk about it, here's Marty Biron, our NHL analyst. And Marty, I mean, this Boston Bruins team had the best regular season ever. I mean, this is one of the yeah. biggest upsets in the history of the Stanley Cup playoffs. But my question to you is, did you see it coming in Game 7? Well, no, I didn't see it coming, especially when the Bruins took a 3-2 lead, right? Uh, you think they're going to lock it down. They had a lead in Game 5, in Game six, I should say, and they lost it twice in the third period, but not only is it an upset, it's a collapse by the Boston Bruins, who had a 3-1 series lead. They go into game five, and Brian Marchand has a breakaway late in the third period, and then obviously, Linus Holmark makes a mistake behind the net. Matthew Kachuk scores the goal in game six. They have a 4-3 and a 5-4 lead in the third period, let it slip, and then obviously in game seven, they still are up 3-2, and there's like less than a minute left. You got to lock it down. You can't let that happen. So, yes, you got to give credit to the Florida Panthers for, you know, playing with such passion and energy and emotion and never, never saying we're going to quit, always coming back in there. But this is a collapse by the Boston Bruins uh, from top to bottom, right? From Jim Montgomery not starting with Bergeron and Marchand together in game five. Montgomery not going to Jeremy Swayman earlier. From everybody in the lineup, nobody really playing well, especially in Game 7 when it looked like they couldn't even make passes. So a collapse for the Bruins. And, you know, it, for Leaf fans, they were already looking ahead to that matchup with Boston. Now you're facing Florida. And as great of a regular season as Boston had, Florida had probably one of the most disappointing regular seasons that we can remember, and yet they still make it in. Now they're in the second round. This is the first ever playoff matchup between the Leafs and the Panthers. Is there a matchup? that you are particularly intrigued by, Marty? Yeah, there's one. It's Austin Matthews and Matthew Kachuk, right? Both Americans going to be huge in the States when it comes to USA Hockey and poster boys for that. But only that, like Austin Matthews is a leader on the ice, scoring goals for the Toronto Maple Leafs. You saw what he did against Tampa in the first round, and he will have to be even better in round two, where Matthew Kachuk is not only a goal scorer and a point producer, but he's an emotional leader for the Florida Panthers, and he plays a really, really hard game um, in all aspects of, uh, of, of the game itself. So for me, this is the premier matchup between Austin Matthews and Matthew Kachuk. But obviously, Florida was inconsistent all season long, but as they, play, they showed in the first round, if you give them a short sample, which is seven games, they can surprise you. So the Leafs-Florida Panthers matchup is going to be an exciting one in round two. Marty, I got to ask you about the goaltending situation because, you know, I like to talk about my boy, Sergei Bobrovsky. But, um, you know, in the first <laughs> round, the, the big talk uh, about the Lightning and the Leafs was that the Lightning had the clear goaltending advantage. Obviously, that didn't matter. How do you see it playing out in the second round with Samsonov and Bobrovsky? Well, obviously, it's going to be a, a fun matchup because Samsonov, I thought, was really good in round one. He had his moments, but... When he needed to be good, he was good. And Bobrovsky, who didn't even start the series, right? It was Alex Lyon, came in and played well down the stretch. So I think both of them are incredibly talented, very athletic. Um, so it is one of those situations where a goalie can steal a game here and there, right? Both Samsonov and Bobrovsky can obviously steal games um, for their clubs. So I, I like the matchup. I think it's going to be interesting. Now, I would expect Samsonov to go from game one all the way to Game seven or whatever, how long it takes, where for the Florida Panthers, we may see Bobrovsky start, but you never know. Maybe Alex Lyon comes back in because he was so good down the stretch. He actually started the first round against Boston. So it may be a two-goalie kind of uh, situation with Florida in this second round.